Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about how to record videos inside of Camtasia Recorder 9, the latest version at the moment. So when you open it up on your computer, which if you've installed the Camtasia Studio package, you can just go to the start menu, type in Camtasia Recorder, and you'll be able to pop this up. You'll have uh, basically this window area in the bottom right hand corner. You can move it around if you need to. And this basically has all the controls you need in order to record your video inside of Camtasia Recorder. Now you'll notice while this is actually opened on our computer, that it has this green border around the entirety of our screen. That's determining what the recording area is. So there's different ways we can actually change that. If you don't want full screen, you can drag one of these corners down. You can reposition it by clicking and dragging on the center area. So basically whatever is still in the green box is what's going to ultimately be your recording area. So you don't have to have a matching ratio for dimensions. It can really be anywhere on your computer screen that you want. If you decide later on that you want to go back to full screen, just hit the full screen button. However, if you actually want a smaller area but to be a specific ratio, over here where it says custom, you click on the little drop down menu and it'll give you different options like 1080p, 720p, and also some standard 4 to 3 resolution ratios, which is more going back to the TVs of like the 90s and 80s. So worth pointing out is that this isn't the final export resolution, but rather the space on your screen that you're going to be recording. So when it gives you 720p resolution and you're on a 180p monitor, you're actually only going to get part of that screen recording. So if you actually want to record your entire screen, but to shrink it down to a smaller size later on, you should do full screen and you should later on in your export settings, change it down to 720p or 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Now, as for determining what else you're going to add into your video file, you have the option of adding in a webcam or any other video source currently attached to your computer, possibly by USB cable, and you can select a microphone. So most people are going to want a microphone so they can talk over their video. To select your microphone, go over to where it says audio on or audio off, click on the drop down, and select the microphone which you currently want to use from this list. So here I'll go to, to USB audio device, because that's the microphone my headset I'm currently using. You also notice in this drop down list it has an option for record system audio. That's enabled by default. When it says system audio, it's referring to the sound on your computer. So that means if there's any sound effects like game audio, it's going to record that as well in addition to your microphone. And that's often going to be what you want. But if you want to mute all of your system sounds and you only want to record audio, then you should go ahead and uncheck record system audio. Now, whether you want a webcam or not is up to you. It records the webcam separately from the screen. So when you actually move into the Camtasia 9 Studio Editor, uh, you'll have two separate video files that you can move around on separate tracks, which is actually a really nice feature here. So if you want to add in a webcam, you should click on this drop down, select one of the video sources from your computer, uh, in this case, I have a webcam attached to my laptop, so if I want to add that in, I just choose Lenovo EasyCam here. And you'll notice it has a little pop-up down here, uh, where if it's connected properly and working, you should see um, whatever is being recorded by that cam to show up in that little preview window. Now, uh, there may be some settings you want to change, like the resolution of your camera. So to get to those settings, you can click on the drop-down and click on Options, or you can go to Tools and then Options. Either way, you're going to get these four tabs in a pop-up window. If you want to control the settings on your camera, you would go to Inputs. So here we can change, let's say, the resolution of the camera by going to Format Settings. And you see here where it says Output Size, if you want to increase that. So in other words, you would be recording your webcam in greater resolution. You can change that there, hit Apply. Also, uh, frame rate, if you need to increase or decrease that, this is where you would do it. But that frame rate setting is specific to the webcam. If you want to change the resolution on your screencast, you should instead go over here to Video under Inputs of Tool Options and select an option from here. You can see it caps out at 30, unfortunately, 
There are a few hotkeys you can set inside of the Camtasia recorder, one of which would be start recording or pause the recording, which is F9 by default, also stop F10 by default, and if you wanted to be able to draw on the screen while you were talking, you can do that using screen draw. So to enable screen draw by default is control shift plus D. We'll talk about that more in a minute when we actually start the recording. On the program tab, there's a few miscellaneous settings here. Before we go ahead and get started recording, there's two more things I want to show off. In this effects tab, we can drop down and add in annotations. So that can either be a system timestamp, which is basically going to be the time that your video was recorded, or a caption, which is text representation of the words that you're speaking into the camera. So basically text to read what someone is saying. You can also go down here to options if you want to change some of the settings. So for instance, if you don't want just the time and date, but maybe you want the elapsed time of the currently recorded video, you can check that as well. And this preview window will give you uh, basically an image of what it's going to look like. You can also customize the format by going to time date format and changing how that's going to look. So when you select different option, it's just going to change how it represents the time and the date. Now, system stamp options, you can change the text color, the background color, and the position of the timestamp to a different corner of your recording. So you may want to come in here and customize that a bit, depending on the needs of your video. And the same way you can come down here and customize your captions by changing the text color, the background color, the position of those captions, as well as several other settings. Now, it's important to note that captions are not automatic. You will have to provide a caption file for... Break. Now, it's important to note that caption files are not automatic. You will have to load in a caption file either now or later on in your video editing in order to make the captions work. So, basically, you would need a script if you're going to add captions at the time of recording. So, as long as you have prompt before capture checked, it will allow you to select a caption file from your computer when you start editing. Um, that also assumes, of course, that under effects and annotation, you do have add caption checked. So when you hit record, it's going to prompt you to browse your computer for a caption file. So if you have one, load it up. It's worth mentioning, though, if your plan is to add your videos to YouTube, YouTube now does automatic captions anyway, so a lot of people might not even need to go that far. The last thing we'll cover is on the general tab here for the options. It saves to a .shrek video format by default. If you plan on editing in an editor that's not actually Camtasia, you may want to change this from .shrek to .avi, a more standard format that may have better compatibility with other video editors. But if you're going to use Camtasia to edit anyway, .shrek is perfectly fine. So now that we are in theory set up, we can go ahead and start recording. You can either click on this record button over here in the bottom right hand corner, or you can just go ahead and hit F9 on your keyboard. So I'll do it by hitting F9. It will give you a countdown for three seconds by default, and then it's going to start recording your screen. Whenever you want to stop recording, you hit F10 on your uh, keyboard. Uh, for right now though, I'm actually gonna show off the screen draw. So Control Shift D is the default which will bring up this little pencil. So while you're in screen draw mode, you'll have access to a bunch of different tools you can use in order to draw on the screen. By default, it's gonna give you this uh, blue rectangular tool, so you can draw some of these rectangles on the screen, but you may want to switch to a different tool. So you can do that by hitting escape to get out of screen draw mode and clicking on the Camtasia recorder in the bottom right, You'll notice that a new section has actually popped up here, which is screen draw, and there's also add marker, um, which by the way is also settable with a custom hotkey. But when you have screen draw mode popped up here, it's going to give you the ability to select different tools. You can see that there are hotkeys associated with it, so you can do ellipses rather than uh, basically square frames. So if we want a circle, we can do that. If we want a line, we can click on line from that drop down menu, or we can just learn the hotkeys. So L to do line, and I think it was F for frame, and then E for ellipse. 
So you can also change the color, as you can see with hotkeys as well, if you don't want to have to pop this up later on, and change the thickness of the line width. So possibly we want, let's say, a white circle. Uh, and uh, maybe we change that to highlighting instead. So highlighting is just going to, as you would expect, make part of the screen stand out by giving it a partially transparent box, or highlighting essentially. Uh, we can also go over here to these tools where we would get a solid box or a solid frame. So if we use here. Now you may notice that there are three other tools over here, but what these are are just selectors for the same tools. If we click on these drop downs, it gives you the same basic tools. So a pen if you want to just kind of free draw on the screen, you can uh, of course change each of these. And the one you have currently selected is basically indicated by these, this green dot down here, whether it's loaded up or not, that's the tool you're going to be currently on. Now it's also worth mentioning that you can control the width of the, uh, basically the shapes you're drawing by selecting basically 1 through 8 on your keyboard. So if you want really thick lines, you just press 8 on your keyboard or 1 for very, very thin lines. So when you're done recording your video, you just simply need to hit F10 on your keyboard. By default, it's going to open up the video file where you've recorded into TechSmith Camtasia so that you can edit your video. And when you're done recording your video, Camtasia will load and you should have, if you included it, both your video camera as well as the screencast video where you can basically do whatever you want with, edit the video. And if you need help on doing that, go ahead and check out my complete guide to editing videos in Camtasia Studio 9, a video I just recently recorded. Aside from that, I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.